What up guys, Astro Manny here, how's it going? And we're back on Star Citizen, yes, back on Star Citizen, <laughs> how's it going? You know, the server's keeping you down, you know, having trouble playing, missions aren't loading, Xeno threat being an issue, well, you know, with all this happening, and the missions are struggling to load and all that whatnot, um, life can be kind of hard to make money, do anything. Xenothread is a pain in the butt, it always glitches out. Um, all other missions are just not loading, you can't get anything done. But what do you do on Star Citizen? I mean, of course, there's always the beautiful views, right? The beautiful views of the stars and, and just flying around in your ship, if you can get your ship out. I seem to have no issue getting my ship out and stuff. Um, some people can't even do that, so I feel bad for them. But, um, yeah buggy server missions not working well guess what you can do when you don't have missions to do let's go do some cargo running or better yet let's go do drug running yes yes drug running that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be running some drugs and making cash running some drugs because the server's not letting us do missions we got to make money somehow and in that case we turn to the dark side and run some drugs. And because the server's not running well, people aren't really, you know, coming at you to steal your cargo and stuff because the game's just not running very well. So, yeah. Um, that's our choice of doing things at the moment. We're going to try to run some drugs and hopefully it all goes well. I've done it quite a bit in... Uh, the recent times we are at 5.524 million I got it here on the side on a calculator to start to see how much we started with before we uh, start our drug run yeah okay so here is my drug run in Crusader I like to just do it around Crusader because every single moon has a place to stop and get some drugs um, I'm also going to go into my personal tab and pick supply re-up to get the marker for jump town that's another little bonus if your server is up and running enough for this mission to even activate because with the missions and all the lag going on the last two times i tried to run drugs this mission wouldn't even start for me well it would start but i couldn't go to the location pick up the package to unlock the location for jump town so uh yeah if that isn't working, then you still have three places to pick up drugs in Crusader, so um, it wants, it's not the end of the world if that mission doesn't load up, and um, it's not that big of a deal. So we're going to start off with uh, heading over to Crusader, or to Daymar, because that's where that mission will take you to. Uh, that, that mission I just activated will take you to Daymar if it works, and so we might as well pick up the package and get our jump town marker if that is the case if not then we just hit up Daymar and um, continue on our merry way right and because there's still three locations that we can do this to make some cash we used to plan for today on a terrible uh, build that the game is currently on and we can't do much we can still fly around and explore things, and while we're exploring things, we can make money doing drugs. First stop is new and waste management. A lot of people will probably say new and waste management should be the last place you go to, because it's on Daymar, and that's where you're going to go sell at Brio's Brickler's Yard on Daymar. But I think it's a good place to start, to do a different route that most people don't do. I don't know. I don't know what people do. I'm not a car I'm not a trucker. But I'm just doing this because I need to make money. Because I want money in this game so I can buy me nice fancy ships. But the game's broken, so I have limited options. And one of those limited options here is to do drug running. Um, so here we are on our way to Nuance Waste Management. But you know, the game has its problems. But we still keep playing. Those the people still keep playing. It's hard to make content. I apologize that um, streams and videos are not rolling out like I want them to because I do want to start rolling out videos very commonly and stream, you know, multiple times a week, five times a week if possible. Maybe we'll see what I can do. 
but when the game is broken the way it is, there's not much, there's not very much that I can do with the game being broken, and there's not very much footage to make, and that's kind of sad, and that's a, that's a problem that a lot of Star Citizen content creators are having. I mean, obviously I could play other games, and I would do play other games, and I will record other games and make other videos, but Star Citizen right now is just so much fun for me, even in the state that it's in that I just keep playing this game. And so if I'm gonna keep playing the game, I'm gonna make videos and I'm gonna I'm gonna make content. I'm gonna do streams and that's what I'm gonna do. So here we are, uh, uh, you know CIG's doing what they're doing. They're making their game, they're breaking their game, they're trying to fix their game. I don't know what the deal is. Honestly I'm not here to talk politics in the game. I'm not here to talk about all that. I'm just here to play the game and have some fun and do what I can, you know, that, that's what this is about, just play the game, doesn't matter what's coming in the future, doesn't matter what happened in the past, doesn't matter what's happened, we've got this beautiful space game that lets us fly these beautiful spaceships, so let's just play it, and so here we are, new ones waste management for our first drug stop, um, so far, like I said, because of the state of the servers, or maybe it's not because of the state of the servers, maybe I'm just lucky, or whatever the case is, I don't know. I haven't had much issue while trying to do drug running. I haven't ran into any pirates or anything. So, um, hopefully, that stays the case in this video, so I can show a nice video on how to make some money drug running. Um, but that might not be the case. But you see how the servers are so bad that even the drug locations they're not even loading up and as you can see that mission i'd grab the contract the current contract supply run up it activated but the marker hasn't activated yet so we still don't have it still hasn't fully loaded in so i don't know if that mission's going to even load up but as you can see new one's waste management hasn't even rendered in for us that's how bad the servers are so you just gotta you know it happens um you just wait for it to load in. It will load in, it, and it shouldn't take long. I'm surprised it hasn't loaded in already. It usually is loaded in right now, so that's even more concerning on the state of the servers. But again, we're here to just play the game and have fun. Um, again, this is the first stop. Uh, while I'm here, I am in the Connie Aquila. This is the most expensive ship that I own. Uh, it's got 96 cargo. It's not a big giant cargo ship, but guess what? We're running drugs, so you don't really need a giant load. Like, you don't need a C2 to carry 600 things of cargo. The drugs are expensive and make money with smaller loads. Plus, the places you buy them from don't have giant quantities like the regular cargo holds. Um, they usually only have a small amount, so that's why you can run a smaller ship. Even a hundred cargo space that the Aquila has, 96 if you want to be exact, I'm just rounding up, it's 96 that the Aquila can hold, or any Andromeda besides the Taurus, the Taurus can hold more. <clears throat> um, it's perfectly fine for drug running because unless I'm lucky or really thorough and go to places more than once I'm not going to usually sorry little cut back here always put your elevator back up um, game is lagging so much I can't even put my elevator back up that's concerning you know what we're gonna leave it down in that fact no or always bring your elevator up so people don't steal your shit <laughs> especially when it's got drugs on it and money on it right Anywho, um, yeah, back to the, the, the cargo ship you need to be running. You don't need a huge cargo when you're doing drugs, uh, because odds are you're not going to fill the thing up. Plus, drugs are expensive, so when you're buying drugs, you're not going to, like, you're going to make good money just with a lower end cargo so I'm start here with Widow because the Widow's the um, best one to buy from here. Uh, you got to click on your inventory here to make sure that pops up. Um, click buy confirm. 
Processing order seems okay. See, so I mean, the missions aren't working. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and buy everything here because we're we're about being efficient. We're just gonna buy everything. Um, or the missions aren't working, but as you can see, the terminals, at least for me, seem to have no issue. So I just go ahead and I just guzzle up all the drugs, put them in my ship, and move on to the next location. That's what I do, because the terminals seem to work fine, so why not? Anyways, back to the cargo hold ship situation. Um, 96 on the constellations are more than enough cargo for these drug runs. As you can see, I picked all this up and I was like at what, 30% or something? 40% maybe? And I still got two more locations to go to, at least if not three, but it doesn't seem like the package has got me a marker yet, so we're not going to get jump Town. Um, yeah, so you could do this, you know, in a Cutlass Black, you could do this in a Corsair, those things have decent cargo, you know, you could even do things in really small cargo, like if something has 40, that's enough to make you some okay money in drugs. You can even make 100k per run with just 40. If you're just buying Widow and stuff, you know? Just buy the best things like Widow and stuff and, and fill your fill your hole up with Widow. You'll make, you'll make good money. Slam, obviously, is what you really want to do. But Slam is only in Jump Town and Private Property. We'll go to Private Property, but we won't go to Jump Town. So we'll be missing out on the big bucks of Slam. And I will explain further on why I don't bother going to Jump Town, even using, like, say, the trick of, uh, where's my OM marker? I think it's up here, right? I think it's up here. There it is. So there is a trick to get to Jump Town, right? Like, you can visually look at yellow, you could go to OM5, look at OM3 and then look at the mountain ranges to get to Jump Town. But I'll show you real quick on our way to Yella my issue with that. Um, and this is something I want help with actually. Well, let me just go ahead and select our next destination which is NT999XX. Okay, that is our next location. Not to be mistaken with the NT 999XXII, not that one, the one without the eyes, that's where we're going. Anyway, so my issue with finding Jump Town without having a marker through to the mission of the resupply mission is that for some reason my visuals in this game look like, like, like. My visuals look fine. Daymar looks great, right? Like, I could see Daymar fine. Crusader's a little bit bright, but I could, you know, Crusader's fine. But, like like I said, look at Daymar. Daymar is nice. It looks good. It's okay. It looks normal, right? But look at Yellow. Okay, Yellow, not to get me wrong, Yellow looks beautiful. But Yellow, for me, I don't know if it's my contrast, the gamma, or the brightness, or whatever it is. I don't know because I've messed with all those settings and it doesn't seem to fix it. Um, if someone knows the answer to this, please leave a, leave a comment below and help me out. But look how bright yellow is, okay? These white patches, the, the real white patches, the ones you can't see anything but white, those are super bright for me to where you're supposed to be able to see mountain ranges on those. There's little bumps on that white patches to show you mountains but it's so bright that I can't see the mountains and it, not only does it stop me from seeing the mountains it stops me from seeing all together sometimes especially on the, the part that like it's mostly covered by mountains I can't see nothing on yellow on that side that's on the other side of the yellow I, I didn't show that off plus the sun's probably not hitting it right now anyways but I can't see the mountains unless I'm real close. You see that? Look how bright those mountains are. So 
to find Jump Town, you need to be able to see the mountain so you know where you're going. And so I can't find Jump Town. So if anyone knows how to fix the fact that my yellow is so beautifully bright, <laughs> please leave a comment and help me out and tell me how to get that fixed because I don't know how to fix yellow. It's, uh, it's blindingly beautiful. It's still great. I love to be here. But it just, the features of the, of the moon just are hard to see at times. But like, look at that. Look at, look at that mountain range. It looks fantastic with the, how wide it is. Like, that looks amazing. But from a perspective of trying to find the location I want to get to, yeah, you know, questionable. So... Uh, another thing when you're going to these places, you don't have markers for them, like there's no mission marker obviously, right? So you have to keep your UT drive up to make sure that you're going in the right direction and make sure you're getting close, especially with the fact that the buildings are rendering. You gotta make sure that you keep your QT up close and or long enough to get here. Um, and it looks like this building has fully rendered in already for us, which is fantastic. Usually Nguyen's Waste on Daymart is the one that gives you the most trouble with rendering. So we're already accomplished that factor, which is nice. I like to change my camera view a little bit so I can see the bottom of the Connie when I come down. Because the Connie is a little pain in the butt to land and it doesn't have the greatest landing gear. But I digress, here we are driving it and uh, making some money on some cargo runs. That was a little bit rocky of a landing because like again, the landing gear is questionable at best. One thing about the Connie is you gotta be careful with this landing because it does affect the way the elevator comes down. And that can indeed be scary because it moves the ship. And so far it hasn't killed me. I say that now as it's gonna happen on recording. But um, it can rock the ship and be quite annoying. Uh, sometimes I just leave the elevator down because of that. But when we are doing drugs it is, especially when you're doing drugs or something like this, it is important to Pull your elevator up. I always do a sweep of the area too, but it's a little bit less likely that people are out here while the servers are so broken. Servers are broken, people are busy complaining or doing Xeno Threat even though the servers are broken. So this is unlucky. There's like no inventory here. That's unfortunate. Um, Sadly, the way the system works when it comes to inventory in uh, this game for for drugs and stuff and uh, all the other cargo missions, the Laranite and stuff like that, it's all like all the servers f compete together. So if someone on a different server buys the drugs, it's gone on my server, which is absolutely ridiculous on that factor because look as you can see I wasn't even at 40% on my cargo and I've been two places already and I only have 96 cargo space like why do I have to work so hard CIG why but as you can see the, the terminals are working I'm able to purchase things my mission still still hasn't loaded by the way so I'm sitting here doing cargo run, trying to make money, which is working, but my mission still hasn't worked. Xenothreat may be going on, that's none of my business, I don't care. Um, I know it's currently active, I don't know if people are currently doing it. The server I'm on has over 90 people, so I'm not on a low server. You know, it's it's fully loaded with people. Um, I just don't know what they're doing in this broken game. I assume most of them are stuck dealing with bugs. And I feel for them, and the people that are here still playing, <clears throat> man, props, props to all of us, right? You know, because we're sticking it out, and uh, it's hard. It's hard, it really is. Uh, so we're gonna jump here to Owen. What just happened? Wow, that was a scary moment. I don't know what happened. My ship just completely lost control like I hit something. There's nobody in the air. 
What's this? That was weird. My mission did just pop up. You see that? I got the marker now. Yeah. So. And the way I usually do this is I jump to OM markers because um, the and and I'm gonna click private property on cell and that's our next location. The star map here doesn't really work very well unless you're at an OM marker. It can work when you're not at an OM marker, like you can do it while you're on the moon or you can do it wherever you're at, but it works best if you're at an OM marker. Because if you're at an OM marker, you could get anywhere. And the star map will find you a location or find you a route to get there. If you're on a moon or on a planet or something and you're trying to use the star map, um, and for some reason your location is obstructed by a different moon or a different planet or something and it doesn't have a straight route, the star map will not register your route and you cannot set a route. So I just wait till you get to an OM marker and then you are confirmed that you should be able to make a route anywhere you want. Anywhere. Because no matter where you're at, even if it's still obstructed, it will take you around using OM markers to get you where you need to go. That's the sure route to make the star map work. There are other faster ways, and I can even do faster ways and stuff, but like, that's the sure way of making sure it works every time. If you, and that's what we're about, is making things stable and making things work here. So these tips are going to work every time. Not all, I mean, not, not sometimes, every time. Or at least most of the time, right? You know, the server could be broken, so broken that you can't even drug run, you can't even cargo run. Uh, I might make a video, by the way, of doing a cargo run, like Lair and I and um, Titanium and stuff, but I don't have a C2 or anything big to show that off, so I'm going to have to do that with a friend. And I'll be in a gutter seat, and that'll be kind of fun, or I'll be protecting him around and following him around, but I think it'd be more interactive if I was in a gunner seat, or flying the ship and he was in a gunner seat, because he just likes to be in a gunner seat himself so maybe we'll do that but he's got to buy the stuff I can't show off the fact that I'm buying the stuff anyways um, yeah so we're pulling up to our third location here at private property on selling this place sells slam so this is uh, the best of the three but the thing is there's usually not very much slam at all here uh, but we in the in the case of the server being like this like I said we just do what we can and we're and we stay optimistic and be happy with what we could accomplish so as you can see like I said I was able to get the mission rolling after 20 ish minutes of wanting this mission to activate so we could go to jump town now just to fill up the cargo hold we might we might just because we have been unlucky really it was just the last place we went to it was really unlucky drug selection at um, the NT 999XX place like Yella really kicked the bucket for us it didn't, it didn't do its job it didn't make us any money so thanks Yella but along with having too much brightness to where I can't see anything yellow. But hey, whatever. Moving on. Going down the uh, elevator now. Especially if you're using a Connie, be careful when you're going down these elevators. Make sure that you uh, take it easy and try not to move too much as you're going down the elevator. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to leave this down because I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, that's the problem with the Connie. The elevator doesn't always do what you want it to do. It's... Ah, will that get me killed? Will somebody come and kill me and be able to steal all my drugs because I left the elevator down? You know... It's whatever. There's only three slam here and three neon. So we're going to have to double up on some of our locations. As you see, I hit all three places all three places and I've only got what 43% 44% of my load full that's why you can do this in a cutty 
you know, you can do this in a cut. You can do this in some smaller shit that has a smaller cargo hold and still make good money. I've spent a lot of money already. I put a lot of money into this project. Let's see if we can get the elevator to go up. No problems. No problems. With just 44%, with just 44%, I've spent nearly 400k on drugs with just 40% of my hold. And if you're spending 40, 400k, that means you're probably going to make at least 100k. So that's profit right there, 100k in 30 minutes, right? We can go back and sell this and make 100k. And that's normally what I would do and just hit those three places up and be like, okay, I'm good. I made decent money and I'd go sell it at Daimler. Uh, at Brio's Breaker Yard and be done with it. But uh, normally I have at least 60 or 70% of my cargo filled. Today, that is not the case. So Bottom we're going to do a little bit extra. Drive is we're going to go back to Daimler. And we're going to go to this pickup location. And see if we can pick up the bag. Or pick up the, uh... So we're just gonna set a route to Daymar, I guess, right? Did it work? We're at an OM marker. And you click on Daymar. Boom. Set route. There we go. See? So we're just gonna set a route to Daymar, and then we're gonna go to the marker location, which is, which is Bountiful... Uh, Bottom drive is now home. Bountiful Harvest. And we're going to go there and pick up the package and it'll unlock a marker for us to get Jump Town. Even if Bottom the package... Even if we're lucky and the package is capable of being picked up, we still might not get the marker Bottom for Jump Town. Is now home. Just because of the way it takes a while for loading of missions. So we have to be aware of that too. So that's why we're going to go to Bountiful Harvest first. Quantum Drive is now and then we're going to pick up, if if we're able to pick up the package, then we're going to go back to Nguyen's Waste and pick up more at Nguyen's Waste. More drugs at Nguyen's Waste while we wait for the marker to pop up. And if the marker Quantum pops up, we will make an attempt to go to Jump Town just to show off Jump Town. And then we will come back to Brio's Breaker Yard and sell everything. Last patch, this was a big hotspot for PvPing and stuff because people were exploiting the drugs. Now the exploit's gone and people just don't care about drugs anymore. Well, guess what? That's where we come in and make a little bit of profit, right? Quantum Drive is not all off. Just gotta play the game, gotta get some things done, and you know, do what you can do. Again, look at you can't be just flying a spaceship. A beautiful one, actually. This is a beautiful ship. It's a beautiful ship. Look at that horizon, those stars and the horizon. That's amazing, right? Like, you're, I'm flying a Connie, which usually has these annoying, has an annoying cockpit, but I'm flying the Aquila, so look at that cockpit. Isn't it gorgeous? Everything about this ship is pretty nice. Other than it's landing gear. <laughs> so here we are coming up on Bountiful Harvest. Turning on my lights because it's dark out here. Maybe I just turned them off. Maybe I have my lights on somewhere else. Have we landed somewhere that it was dark? I don't quite remember. I think I turned them on. That's, that's me with my lights on, right? That's me lighting up the, the ground of Daymar, the mountain tops of Daymar, right? I think that's me lighting up the mountaintops of Daymar. So here we are pulling up. I do have my lights on. I'm pulling up. The place has not even rendered in. And the package is nowhere to be found. I'm not even gonna land if the package doesn't spawn when the building spawns. Oh! Oh! Looky here! It, that looks like a package spawn to me. 
I don't know about everyone else, but that looks like a package spawn to me as I almost die on my landing. <laughs> Run into a light post or something, you know. That's, that's one key to this, you know, don't run into a light post. Oh, it's just, look at the terrible landing this ship does, it pisses me off. Because we're tilted down. There's nothing I can really do about that. Just, there's no front landing here. So again, when you're going down the elevator, try to stand still so it doesn't bug you out or anything. In this case, again, I went through the ground and there goes the hop the hop of my ship. I'm going to not touch that. My one recommendation for doing this is maybe not to do it in a colony because it's stressful. You're so scared your ship's gonna blow up. So far, it, with all this bouncing around with the elevator and stuff, it hasn't blown up on me. So maybe it is safe. It just, it scares the shit out of me that it bounces around like that. It scares me. Having all this cargo on board where it's my money, it's a little bit risky to do this with my money. I put my money on the line. So if some, some baloney happens, that's me losing money. But hey, we keep going. We keep going. So we pick up the package. The package seems to be okay in my hands, like no glitches there. Um, if the mission was working, it would have already gave me the marker, right? And I'd already be on my way. Or, I'd, yeah, I'd be on my way to uh, Jump Town. But with the lagginess and stuff, let's see how long it takes for us to figure out, or begin to figure out that we've got the package and give us a marker. Um, if it was working correctly, we'd already have the marker, and I would have left the drugs on the ground because I don't want the drugs in my ship. Because you don't need the package on you to have the marker Take to jump town, and I'm not going to complete the mission. I'm just getting it so I have the marker to jump down. So I don't really need the drugs, but since I don't know how long it's going to take for the jump town marker to pop up or any of that, I'm going to just hold on to it in that case. So we stopped here at Bountiful, and now we're going to uh, go back to Nguyen's Waste to pick up more there. Because we just have so much more cargo space. We're going to go there while we wait for Jump Town to load in. And then we'll go to Jump Town and pick up whatever there, and then we'll go sell. If Jump Town doesn't load up, then I'm just going to take whatever I can get at Nguyen's Waste and call it the end of the run. And hey, we still made a little bit of money. It's only been 30 minutes. Um, obviously, I prefer to run bounties. Uh, ship player versus computer bounties to make money. That's my preferred method. But currently missions don't work, so I can't do that. So I got to entertain myself some other way. Drive and this, this is the way. This is the way. And it's it's new to me. This is a different gameplay. It's a, it's a pretty cool gameplay loop, in my opinion. It's nice. It's relaxing. I take that back. For me, it is not relaxing at all. <laughs> it's not relaxing at all because it's stressful. I, I have money on my ship that I invested in. Uh, and to me, I'm freaking out right now. I've done this a few times now to where the, the, the anxiety is less obvious. The first time I ran this, oh my god, I was like shaking. I was so scared that I would lose like 800k of my own money. Because if I lose a million of my own money doing this, whoo, 
it's scary. I would freak out. Uh, and it happens. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta weigh the the rewards and the risks. So if you can't put up with the fact that you have a million dollars on your ship that could go bye bye that you invested in, maybe this isn't the right thing. But hey, you do what you gotta do. You gotta spend money to make money, right, baby? Hey. <laughs> Anywho, we're back at Newin, and you know how Newin is. The last time we were here, it didn't load in right away. So, um... Oh, look at that. Newin loaded in right away. Wow, look at you stepping up your game over here. Newin Waste. I'm loving you. Thank you very much for the load in. So far, I don't think that mission marker for Jump Town has loaded up. So park as close as possible so you have less running, you know? <sighs> Stupid Kanye, like you see how slow I'm coming in too, and it's just like, land on your back legs and don't tip over. Thank you. Engines are off. Markers still haven't popped up for Jump Town. Again, I would normally have more cargo than I currently have. So this is a little bit concerning that I'm not going to show you that I can make like 250, 300k in one cargo run in just a con. But at least this will be nice for people with smaller ships and show you how much money you can make in smaller ships. Server lag is stopping me from bringing my elevator up, so I'm going to do as i say and not as i do okay guys always close your ship up don't leave it open like me do as i say not as i do <laughs> hey look the marker for jump town has popped up shall we go to jump town after this for the sake of video and showing off jump town i say yes decent uh decent supplies here we'll get a little bit of supplies here Go ahead and fill what we can. My cat has gone crazy. He's hungry. He's going to eat soon. He's just got to wait. <laughs> he's just sad he's not in the video. Next time, cat. I'll be in the video next time. All right, 67%. We're getting there. So we're still, like I said, not full on our cargo hold. So we're going to go ahead and go to Jump Town because why not? It'll make the video a little bit longer. It'll make this cargo run a little bit longer. Normally, if you just go boom, 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 you get all three. It takes about 30 minutes to do a cargo run. And say if you get lucky on the supplies, you can make 200k in 30 minutes. Not bad, right? That's actually quite awesome. Uh... It's, it's a little bit, it, it's probably not like 200k per 30 minutes, it's probably a little bit longer than that, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's, it's iffy, uh, give or take here and there, but you can make great money doing drug runs, it's actually very, very good money. It just depends on what is available in the shops and how safe the routes are and other things like that. So here we are at Newin, and I think last time the oil marker was up in the air for us. Yeah, yeah. So we'll check again up in the air for us. Yeah. Also, knowing where the landmarkers of your current place, like as I, as you see here, we've been to New End twice, and it was OM3 both times, and it was always directly above us, pretty much. Knowing that is helpful. Um, I'm still learning that. Uh, so, again, we have Yella, and we have our drop-off location, right? So, we're going to set our route to Yella. And we're going to work our way to get to Jump Town. And then we're going to go sell everything. And I think this is worth the little bit of extra time and making the video a little bit longer just to show off 
jump down. Quantum drive is now off. Quantum drive is now off. I'm still debating on how long I want my videos to be. Um, I like longer videos personally, and I do unedited videos, as you can see, because I like unedited videos. So I'm going to do what I like to do. Hopefully you guys enjoy the fact that I'm doing them the way I like to do it. Because when I watch videos, I like to watch everything. I want to see the guts. I want to see the grind. That's what I want to see. So I'm going to make videos of that sense. As you can see here, we're back at Yella. Look how bright it is. It's pretty redonkulous. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my course for the research outpost, right? And we'll get back to talking about my videos here, the length and stuff, but this is showing you what you should be doing. Set my location to the research outpost here. And, you know, I've showed you in, a, in the previous video, and I'm sure plenty of people have shown you, and you probably know. But I'm going to cut my engines right now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know, with the server running the way it is, I should have cut my engines way earlier because I did press it a while ago. Um, so it's not quite what I wanted. I could try again. I could try again, but we're gonna just... Ah, that's annoying. We're gonna try again. We're gonna go to the aid shelter here. We're gonna try one more time. And we're gonna cut the engines really early because of server lag. Press U to cut not the engines, cut the power to the entire ship. You want to cut the power to the entire ship. So I'm going to press it now. See, in that time it was too early. But we're closer. So we're going to be happy with our 100 kilometers. That's not too bad. But do you see as we get closer, you can see the mountain ranges of yellow here? This is probably the best view I've, I've had of yellow in a long time. Like, I can actually see the mountain ranges whoa it must be because of the way the sun is set currently wow or maybe it's because i'm really close no that can't be the case because even when i'm close it's too bright maybe it's just the location like i said of where the sun is and how the brightness and how the lighting is hitting Hmm. I don't know. But 100 kilometers is not too big of a drive. Uh, that's relatively good place to, to, get, to drive to, you know? Um, sorry, a little bit distracted. My cat is, uh, is, is being a crybaby today. But, you know, like I said, I'm making a video. You have to wait, cat. But yeah, videos, uh, length and stuff. Uh, you know, the algorithm probably wants me around 30 minutes. <clears throat> but I'm doing unedited videos, so reality of that is my videos are probably going to be more than 30 minutes. Uh, I need to slow down. And if I make videos that show you how to make money in an hour, it's probably going to be an hour long, right? So I'm I'm shooting for 45 minute long videos, an hour long video. Depend. I mean, obviously, if it's a video that showed you how much money you can make in an hour, it's going to be an hour. And hopefully, that's okay for people to watch, because I like hour long videos allows me to sit down and throw on a video for an hour and cook, eat, absorb information, enough time to relax. A lot of times if the video is too short, I'm like, ah, I need, a, I need to watch one more video before I start doing whatever I'm doing. If it's an hour long video, it's like, okay, Manny, that was an hour long video. You're done. <laughs> so this here is Jump Town. It rendered in decently well. 
Um, this does not have a marker, so you have to either know its location or use the mission to find this place. And this is an event in the game that I do not have a lot of information on because I've never done Jump Town. Uh, I mean, I, I know a few things, you know, because I, I hear things, I watch things, I watch videos and, and do my research, but I have no personal experience with Jump Town other than landing here and buying Engine drugs, because you can buy drugs from this location. So this is a secret spot on Yella to buy some drugs. We're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the package. Take it down with us. So, Crusader has three places to grab drugs. Four, if you include Jump Town. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this. Because we don't care about that. And this time I'm going to pull my elevator up. Even though it seems pretty quiet and for someone to show up at Jump Town while I'm at Jump Town, uh, but since there's no marker, that's... Uh, chances of that relatively low. Again, I say something like that, and it happens and I'm dead, and whoa, we got a video where I died. That's kind of cool. Check out last video, I did get ran by the AI, and that was kind of annoying. Alright, so we got 15 Widow and 10 Slam here. This is why you want to come to Jump Town, because you definitely get the biggest bang for your buck. But, it's been a pain in the butt to get here. So we definitely looking lucrative now. Look at that. Wow. And we're going to fill up, aren't we? We're going to take the rest of this. We are only six left, and we're going to fill up. We're at 100% cargo load of our Andromeda. We have spent 800k now to fill up our Andromeda. That's scary to me. I have 800k of freaking goodies on my ship that could go boom if something goes wrong. That would be devastating. It would crush me. I would cry. I would... I would probably not play the game for a day. <laughs> then I'd get over it. It's part of the game. It's life. It's the risk. But... Here we are. We have become the drug lord. We are a drug ship. And now we're going to go sell. And my cat. I don't know if you guys can hear the cat in the background. If you can, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh, not gonna be mad if the cat's in the uh, in the background of the vid, because he's he's angry. But anyways, this is Jump Town. I'm gonna do a real quick showcase of it. It's it's a nice little place. It's really cool because you're supposed to defend it, right? So they got turrets and shit all up on top of this and you can get on top of it and a bunch of cover and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty wow. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool place. But right now, it's a secret drug location. So, yeah. Drugs for me. Location secure. And I'm glad I got to throw that in there a little bit of Jump Town just to show the power of Jump Town. How much slam I just picked up from Jump Town and the Widow that's where you want to go. Biggest profit is if you have Jump Town. So if you know how to get the Jump Town and for some reason your yellow isn't as bright as mine and you can actually make the Jump Town, then do it. If you can get the mission to work and the package spawns and it gives you the location to Jump Town, then do it because that's good money. But now we're going to set a location for Daymar and we're going to go to Brio's Breaker Yard. Here it is. And this is where you sell, no questions asked, your packages. This is where you bring your stolen goods, if you have stolen goods, your drugs, if you had drugs. Whatever you need to sell, bring it to Brio's and Brio's will buy it. Again, you have to watch out for the players because this is the big PvP location on the server. At least it was huge in the last patch because, again, there was an exploit where people were making ridiculous money because the drugs were... Uh, you could buy one or a, a half of a box. Not even half a box. You could buy like a small part of a box for like really cheap, but it would give you a whole box 
then you could sell for a lot so there was an exploit to make a bunch of money and so people were taking advantage of that therefore there was a lot of drug runners therefore there was a lot of pirates taking the drugs from the drug runners all that you know but now the server's broken people are mad people are angry people are doing xeno threat and uh drug running is here for me to do on the side when the server's not working i can't run bounties i can't run bunkers i can't run whatever i want to run drugs are here i can still play the game still fly around still talk still have a good time and enjoy the game look at the beautifulness of this it's so beautiful uh it's also a little scary because we're in the dark i hate coming to any moon in the dark see so maybe there is something wrong with my settings because this is so dark should it really be this dark maybe it is maybe it should that's what our lights are for right that's why we have lights because when it's this dark you turn on the lights and uh, that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn on my lights and when we get down close enough my lights will brighten the place up <clears throat> i'm gonna be careful of my speed too because i'm coming in pretty fast it would be a shame to just hit the ground and go boom so let's not have that happen Brios is a pretty big area, so you can see it from kind of relatively far away. And as you can see, we ran into no players and not even abandoned ships because people just are not doing this right now. And I'm gonna I'm making this video, and if it does get some traction, people are gonna be doing this a lot. But <laughs> that is what we're here for: is to curate active gameplay for the community <laughs> if i end up making this not that much of a safe route anymore because people are like oh that works let me do it then hey i did my job I'm just trying to help people out and have a fun time so here we are at brio's breakyard the scrap yard um and uh, again like i said there's no abandoned ships there's nobody here at least hopefully there's nobody here it rendered in it seems and we're gonna go down and land and then it'll be a job done there's some landing gear of it looks almost like a Corsair just floating there I always land right on top of this turret always preferably if you have a smaller ship you land directly in the middle but the Andromeda is too big of a ship oh my landing gear is not out that could have been dangerous I swear I pressed the button for my landing gear to be out. Anyways, this is our final stop here at Brio's Breaker Yard. Probably should have turned off my light so it's less obvious that I'm here. But um, it's been quiet the whole time. So let's just, fingers crossed, finish strong. And uh, this time for sure, no matter what, pull your elevator up so even if somebody shoots you right now they're gonna have a hard time getting into the connie to steal all your drugs <laughs> if they're brief your brios that's rough but here we are running to this building here to sell our full load of drugs we are the drug kings the constellation aquila drug kings and uh yeah so as you see we're at 4.7 we started at 4.5 so we spent 800k get our inventory to load up sell the slam as fast as possible boom that's 219k from the slam that's already you know 25% of our products back Sell all that widow that's a lot of widow that's 421k that's already 75% of our profits or of our sell back then uh, we'll sell this sure another 100k so now we're about where we were when we started don't look at the money up there it hasn't loaded all the way yet etam another 180k that's awesome and we're definitely making a profit already and then selling the neon another 126k that's all profit because we've already passed the money that we spent and bada bing bada bing so before i look at what we made I'm going to go ahead and get out of Brios, just in case for some reason someone decides to come and try to kill us. We don't want to be hanging around Brios for too long. So, even though there's no more cargo on our ship and the risk is over, 
the scary part is over. You still have gear on your body, right? Unless you're running this in a naked man suit, which you can, but I'm not. I'm running it in armor and stuff, so I don't want to lose my character. Plus, you don't want to die in general. Like, you, <laughs> you want to be immersive in this game and not lose your life. So, we're going to get at least out of Brios to an OM marker before we stop and check out our profits and all that and make sure we're safe and home free, right? So that is the goal. So one last takeoff here. One final takeoff. Engines, Engines on. Take and off. we're up and we're out. Don't hit the stuff that we saw on the air earlier. I'm going to go to the right here and hopefully not hit that debris. And spool up my quantum drive. Find me an OM marker or something. There's an OM marker over the horizon. That's usually the one I use at Brios. By the time you get out of the atmosphere, it pops up over the horizon. And you can go to OM6. It may take a little bit longer than maybe a different OM marker. I don't know if there is one in the sky somewhere. But the point is, this one works. You just have to wait till it pops up off of the horizon, which it should be fine now, but because of server lag, it took a little bit longer. And boom! Mission complete. We have secured our money, and our drug run is over, and you can just rinse and repeat and do it again. This, in this case, it took me almost an hour, but that's because I hit multiple locations and went back to back and wanted to show off Jump Town and got a little bit unlucky on how much we made. So I'm gonna show up. Oh, I'm gonna show this off here, right? Um, we made what 250k, right? So we're at 5.778 now, and we started at 5.524, and uh, that's pretty cool. We made 250k, and we are drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> And that is a cargo run you can do even though the server is broken. Cargo works! So go out there and make some money doing some cargo stuff. Have some fun. Enjoy your time on Star Citizen. Uh, this has been a video here with Astro Manny. And uh, it was pretty successful, I would say. It was pretty awesome. Thanks for watching my cargo run. It was a good time. Me and my Constellation Aquila. Uh, I hope the best for you out there in the verse because the servers are pretty eh, right now. But even in other servers, you can make money and have fun. So remember to hit that like button, you know, subscribe, check me out on Twitch. The info should be there in my bio or somewhere, you know. Uh, wherever you find me, find me because I'm out there and I'm playing and having a good time. See you guys around and have a wonderful day. Adios.